Hey guys, I'm making a video and it is about laziness or understanding laziness. Now, we are entirely confused about this. Everybody on YouTube seemingly is obsessed with personal productivity, trying to do more personal development. <clears throat> Very good. But in my opinion, we are completely misguided for the most part in why it happens and actually how to be successful in being more productive we're going about it entirely the wrong way now we think laziness is an inherent character flaw so really the problem with that approach is we're talking about procrastination understanding it understanding laziness if you're seeing it as just an inherent character flaw that cuts out any inquiry or investigation as to actually what is the cause of this a character flaw is medieval it's primitive it's dumb it's not insightful in any way so let's get real about personal productivity and what's actually going on you're not lazy there are steps you can take it's a very very simple thing to fix to become more proactive and more productive you just need to know what the right tools are now I'm going to talk in this video today about the myth of laziness and what's actually going on. Now, one of the ways we can understand this is we are actually trained to be lazy. And it's a an, un an unintended consequence of our education. School teaches us to be lazy. Think about it. Before school, did you have a problem with laziness? Not really you didn't procrastinate on anything you just did what you wanted to do okay now school teaches us to be lazy in that it, it it ties in work or objectives or goals with self discipline and discomfort or pain or misery okay that's the association that we get through our education now the if you want to learn a lot more about this there's a few things you can do. One of the, the best books that I've ever read on this is by Dr. Neil Fiore. It's called The Now Habit. Fantastic book. I've also written a book. You can get it on my website and it's completely free. You can just download the PDF. And that is geared more towards people who are in college or university because that's where some of the biggest problems with, with procrastination are experienced by people. <clears throat> Something else you can do is I've actually made a complete video course outlining exactly why you have this problem in your life and the simple, easy, achievable way to put it behind you because it is, as I said, very, very easy to do. Te school teaches us that work isn't supposed to be fun and it also teaches us things like school you know work is only your best is good enough you're going for an A well if you don't get an A you get a B and that's really subpar okay that's another subtle message we get from education another way we procrastinate we we have this aim for perfection okay so we put off doing a thing because we know that a huge amount of effort is going to be needed in order to finish it or do it the way it should be done the way we should be thinking about it is I just do it I do it badly and then at least it's finished now I can improve on that from there but this thing of searching for perfection is learned we don't have that when we're kids we just have a we do things we make horrible mistakes and then we do it again that's the way we're naturally supposed to uh, approach goals and personal productivity now the, but the biggest thing by far in all of this is fun the puritanical approach to personal productivity that if you're not struggling if it's not hard work if it's if you're not pushing yourself to your absolute limits all the time then somehow you're not doing enough that is a recipe for laziness because it, you will proactively subconsciously maybe rebel against that so what Neil Fiora does in his book and I do in my online course is I outline, outline ways that you can actually 
start to implement and bring in more fun and relaxation into your life. It is transformative when you realize that work doesn't come after fun. Um, or sorry, fun doesn't come after work. Work and fun are far more balanced than that. In fact, you actually get the perception that fun is my top priority. I cannot put fun off. I can't keep procrastinating about fun. When we schedule proactively fun into our life, um, relaxation, whatever it is I need, embracing, as I've, I've called in other videos, embracing our inner slob sometimes, just watching a movie or doing whatever it is we actually really want to do, but proactively, consciously and deliberately, planning it and not allowing ourselves to procrastinate on that thing, then we move away from the passive procrastination, which is really procrastination as we come to know it and experience it. It's this passively procrastinating, doing things I, you know, on paper which are enjoyable, but really when I'm doing them, I'm not enjoying them because I'm beating myself up for not being proactive and uh, productive and doing something that I need to do and should do. So it's about reversing our priorities. Do not let another day go by in your life without setting aside something to look forward to, something that you really want to do and that you enjoy doing. And then having windows of opportunity in your day, other periods when, yeah, I can work there if I want to, but I'm not going to sacrifice my fun for that, you know. So you, you can see the, the entire different approach to thinking about personal productivity. Personal productivity is not about struggle. It's not supposed to be hard. In fact, it's supposed to be ridiculously easy. That's how you become consistent. That's how you become relaxed and you enjoy whatever it is you're doing. And you actually achieve what you're going to do. So, a couple of resources. Neil Fiore's book, my free book on my website and my video course as well. Um, I highly recommend them. Laziness is a myth. It was actually learned when you were in school. Now you're an adult, hopefully. You're watching this, maybe you're in school still. But you don't have to keep those lessons. The puritanical old school no pain no gain is self-destructive it doesn't work it leads to burnout it leads to resentment life is not supposed to be like that guys <laughs> life is supposed to be enjoyable and we're supposed to enjoy our goals we're supposed to enjoy it and it's supposed to feel easy you know it's it's a little challenge it brings us to the edge of our discomfort but in an enjoyable way and never with the condition that if i don't do it i can't have fun in my life Fun comes first. So bear it in mind, guys. I hope that helps. And uh, if you like more of these videos, I talk about personal productivity, self-development, spiritual awareness, really, And uh, because it's all the same thing. It's all about learning to be more compassionate to ourselves and uh, treating ourselves the way we would treat a really good friend. So if you do like these videos, consider subscribing to this channel. It helps me a lot. You can hit the notifications button, do all those things that YouTubers tell you to do. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video. Take care for now. Bye.